Hello, welcome to Eurodrama. I'm Hannes. I'm Albert. And today we're gonna listen to Italy's Eurovision song of this year. So Italy decided to send Monaskin uh, with the song Zitti Buoni. E benvenuti a tutti a una nuova reazione, <laughs> reazione di dell'Italia perché Monaskin ha eh, gagnato il Festival di Sanremo. 2021. <laughs> I don't know if I've done it right, but yeah, let's switch into English. So yeah, this year Sanremo took place in March, one year, one year, sorry, one month after because of this COVID situation. Mm-hmm. But I'm glad that it took place, yeah. even though what time did it finish, Hannes? Yeah, my God, yesterday I, I wanted to see the results and like it kept on dragging on until like 2.30 in the morning or something like that. I was, was, I was nice. exhausted. Too so, much. Yeah, too much, too much. <laughs> but before going through the reaction, we're gonna kindly ask you to subscribe to our channel if you like our content. And also we have an Instagram account, so if you want to see more of our content, just go to the link that we will put down below here. Okay, so let's get into the reaction. Let's get into this. Okay, for okay. people. Whoa, that's a rock song. Some rock vibes. A rock song from Italy. Yeah, that rarely happens. What a lucky outfit. That's something. <laughs> Ti conviene toccarti coglioni. Woo-hoo! I love it. I'm not the biggest fan of rock songs in general, but I'm give, gonna give this a chance. On the staging, is, is it really Festival di Sanremo? Mm-hmm. Wow! Like some rapping, but with rock. Wow, it's amazing. That's quality at least. You can like it or not, but that, yeah, that's yeah, quality. Exactly, you cannot deny that this is not quality. Baseline. That's amazing. I understand why it won, to be honest. It's very like not something that Italy would, would say. Never, but th- yeah. that's a good thing about Italy, yeah. no? Because they have like a thousand songs to choose from. Yeah. That's cool, a lot of energy. Mm-hmm. Wow, and all these lights is gonna look amazing on stage. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yes and yes. That's how you do it, Italy. That's mm-hmm. you know <laughs> I'm so jealous of Italy. <laughs> I wish I had the Italy in my life. I mean this is cool because every single year they send something super different from mm-hmm. the from the uh, the previous year. Yeah. Something different. They send ballad, they send opera, yeah. they send more rap, they send now rock. And mm-hmm. every single entry it has quality. You can like it or not. Yeah. But there is some quality in this exactly. entry. Yeah, you cannot deny that there is quality in this entry, I agree. I personally am not the biggest fan of rock songs. Me but, neither, but this but one. But like it, it worked with his voice, like his voice in combination with like the, the electrical guitars and everything like that. And it also like made it sound very Italian in some way, mm-hmm. even though it's a rock song and Italy never goes for that. Mm-hmm. But still for me, it had this Italian like quality in, in music. Um, but yeah, as I said before, I'm not the biggest fan of rock music, so it's not really my taste, but I can see why it won. Yeah, absolutely, and I think the song is is like different and special because of the different combination of things, you know, like they add the, the violins, I think they can put the violins as well, like in Eurovision, and then there is like, a, there was a bit of rap as well in the yeah, middle of the yeah. song, which was nice, his voice was on point, then, the, you know, the outfits were like super different, and I don't know, I think the, the whole package make makes the song special, you know, mm-hmm. like different you can you can have like a normal rock song or you can have zitio boni mm-hmm. that makes like 
it's a step forward. I don't know. I think this is going to do well in Eurovision. Oh, for me, it's super hard to predict how this will it's do. Going to do well, I think. Because yeah. rock songs in general, they don't really do that well in Eurovision. Well, maybe I'm wrong with this well, one. Turkey 2010. Well, yeah, but that was like different. The genre, I would say, you know, than yeah, this. Was, so was another... Remember all the light and instrumentation and everything. It was rock. It was rock, but it's yeah. I think it's different than this, though. I don't know, I yeah. have good feelings about Italy this year. Well, okay. it's, I always have good feelings about Italy. But yeah, I think they're not going to skip the top 10. I think they're going to be part of the top 10. I'm not sure if I would say top 10, but we'll have to see. Maybe I'm wrong. But this is for sure, this won't end up in the bottom five, for sure not. So uh, top, 10, <laughs> top 10, I'm not sure. We already no. have our candidates for sure. the bottom five. Yes, exactly. more than one. Exactly. <laughs> All right then. So once again, thank you very much for watching our video. But you forget one thing. <gasps> oh, sorry. <laughs> you forget that we yeah. still have to give a score to this song. Yeah, I was so, overexcited. So True. how much would you give it? I think you will give it a high score. Yeah, now. I'm gonna give it eight point five. Eight point five. Yeah. Okay, I'm not gonna be that generous. Um, yeah, just because it's not really my style, but I cannot deny that this is quality. So I'm gonna give this a seven. Cool. All right, so now, yes, I'm less excited. <laughs> uh, if you like our reaction, give us a thumbs up. And also, we want to know what you think about the song. So please let us know in the comments down below. And see you next day in Eurodrama. Eurodrama.